Hey everybody, Mental Fox here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Fallout 76. Thank you so much for joining me again. We, you can see that we're at, at my camp here. I did a little bit of inventory management before I started this episode. I got down to 230, which I think is pretty good. Uh, what are we going to do in this episode? Well, let's just go straight over here to duty calls here. Uh, I talked to Captain Fields about the experimental turrets in Vault 79 and secured the aid of him and his troops. I just need to meet up with Sergeant Radcliffe at Robco Research Center to get some tools for the job. So let's just head on over there and do that first thing this episode. Let's just do that, because who knows how long it's going to take us to get through here, because that, that steel mill, th mill thing with Ra Ra, that took well over an hour of straight uh, gameplay. So let's just start this one right at the beginning of the episode, because who knows how long it's going to take. So we need to enter the Robco uh, Research Center, and there's usually a bunch of baddies running around out here. So we'll see what happens on our trek up here, up the hill here, to get into the Research Center. And what do you know? There they are. The baddies I referred to. Still says caution. Must be somebody else out here. Oh. Yeah, even you, I bought. I want your steel scrap. You know, one thing I didn't think to do until just now when I was back at my camp was make more ammo. Hopefully I've got enough ammo for this thing to make it through this little quest that we're on. Hopefully we'll be okay. Uh, we got my other weapon here. I've only got 401 ammo for it, so we'll see what happens in here. This could get kind of hairy. I don't know. Oh, he's right here. Hey, dude. What's up? Did you already clear the place out for us? That would be great if you did. He's probably hey, going to be... Oh. you're not dead. I owe Thompson a cold one. <laughs> Remember, we're looking for military research projects. Ah. General rule, they keep the good stuff in the back. Okay. Why are you pointing that at me? Jeez. This place gives me the creeps. <sighs> Desk jobs. <laughs> That's what gives him the creeps. So now we're here... Uh, I need to look around Robco Research Center with Sergeant Radcliffe to get the tools that we need for Vault 79's experimental turrets. So we're just searching for military projects in the research wing. And hopefully I don't have to, like, babysit him or keep him alive. I mean, if he dies, do I care? Mm, I don't know. I don't know if he's, like, crucial to this mission. Research wing. Go. Here we go. Here we go. Skunk works. Designs gone wrong. God, it's going to hell. Something up there called Robot War Mind. Is that what that said? And gutsy. Yeah. We got a bit of work to do here. Oh, he's friendly. Okay, whatever. What's this? Oh, this is part of the Pioneer Scout Junior Roboticist Tour. Okay. I hear a Mr. Gutsy flying around, so I, th I believe. I'm not 100% sure what we're looking for here. Oh, why already, you stupid turret? What? What? Where? Who? Huh? What's shooting? Oh, now you're angry. Okay, whatever. Fine, die. Let's see if I don't care. He's getting health back. That's just great, man. Now I am worried about my bullets. My ammo. Research labs. Is that what I'm looking for? I don't know. This little circle is not very useful. needs a brain. Uh, a clarification. I'm not volunteering. Couldn't work my magic with those pincers anyway. Okay, good. We found what we're looking for. In storage somewhere. That seems like a very them thing to do. Is that turret hostile? Doesn't look like it. Immobile weapons research. Semi-autonomous immobile weapon platform research. <laughs> good news, everyone. 
I'm excited to announce that Robco has agreed to my proposal to preserve the entire research team's collective intelligence through the Encephalon Extraction Program. You will each have your cranial activity scooped out and your brains suspended in a biomedical solution that will keep your cognitive functions intact and ready to be used for several lifetimes. And to think, we'll even enjoy the benefits of leaving behind our accursed flesh, accursed flesh and becoming a horrific synchronization of mind and metal. Ah, the future is looking up. Hmm. <laughs> Lodge complaint with management. Error complaint report database has been overloaded with traffic. Please file a physical complaint form in human resources before EOD. Okay, brain replacement procedure. A preserved brain. The entire research team jarred their brains? Whoa. I wonder how that went over. Mm -hmm. Good news for us though, right? <laughs> Just need to get one of them up and running. Trying to read here, dude. A preserved brain can be mounted on a functioning robo-brain chassis in order to resume any and all previous employee functions. Step 1. Pick the brain. Go to containment area and take a jar out of storage. Only one brain can be mounted in the chassis at a time. The wiring is permanent, so choose carefully. Step 2. Cook the brain. The preservation process isn't perfect. Contamination can build up in the biomedical gel mixture, requiring a little sizzling to reactivate the tissue. Our expert technicians can help you through this to avoid any damage. Step 3. Plate the brain. You'll need to pick up a dome from storage and mount it on the RoboBrain chassis. Then carefully pour the contents of the brain jar into the dome and attach the brain stem to the neural motivator port. Easy. Okay and turret change log and there's a bunch of crap there okay so now we need to find a suitable brain in the facilities wing the robco research center team working on the experimental turrets used in vault 79 got their brains put in storage before the war we should find one of those brains to get the partly assembled robo brain we found up and running let's do exactly that that is going to be yay in that general direction Again, we don't know exactly where we're going. We're just gonna walk in this vague direction over here. Do I go up? Do I go down? I don't know. I'm gonna guess down. Where do you think you're going? Hmm? I saw you trying to sneak across there. Nice try. Nice try. I think I hear a Mr. Gutsy. Uh oh Bad news. Robo brain R and D. Super Mr. Gutsy's always take two shots. At least. What do you think? In here? So whose brain do you have? The person in charge would be an obvious pick, but speaking as an old boot on the ground. It never hurts to look one or two rungs down the ladder. Hmm, well. Find a suitable brain. So there's several brains around here. What do we got here? We've got tinkering. It has come to the board of directors' attention that you have been tinkering with the voice of Watoga Project to give it the voice and personality oh, we've heard this of before. your late mother. I, remember I this. understand that you two were close, and I know what it means to lose someone dear. But we cannot allow this type of flagrant disregard for project specifications to continue without reprimand, no matter how sympathetic we may be to your personal loss. If you do not cease your tinkering and remove all the related changes from the project program and data files, you will be let go without hesitation. Thank you for your understanding and immediate compliance in this matter. The car horn you heard was not in the game or on the recording, in case you were wondering. <laughs> Somebody's honking their horn outside. Uh, okay, so we're supposed to find a suitable brain. Here is uh, Greg's brain. Isn't there like a um, maybe a little note that tells us a little bit about old Greg so we can decide whether we want to take Greg or not? There was a Dr. Dr. Diaz's brain over here. And here we've got Gina's brain. We just got brains sitting around. They're not even in coolers or frozen or anything. Which I find odd. So, whose brain do we want? 
Um, are, the, are those all the brains? We've got one, two, three choices, right? Okay. We've got Dr. Diaz, Greg, and Lisa. Um, well, I mean, I feel like I wish I knew more about each of these people before I make the choice as to which one we um, choose. Um, I mean, it seem, almost seems like doc, the one with doctor in front of his name would be the one to choose. <laughs> Another baseball uniform. Um, but, you know, like he said, sometimes it's good to get somebody a couple rungs down the ladder. Um, so, um, that's really interesting. And what's also interesting is that um, I can't F5 it and do them all, <laughs> you know? Uh, it, normally, I would be tempted to, um, you know, hit F5, choose one of them, see how it goes, reload, choose the next one, see how it goes, reload, choose the next one to see how it goes. Not to find which one's like the easiest or the best, but just to, uh, you know, see all possibilities, because it's fun. Get back in there. So, um, I'm going to uh, choose Lisa just because I like that name. That's why I'm going to choose Lisa. That's the only reason. Oh, I mean, uh, there was no Lisa. <laughs> Jesus. It's Greg and Gina. I thought it was Lisa. <laughs> why did I think it was Lisa? Fine, I'll choose Gina. I like that name too. Gina's brain. The, oh, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. The label reads Gina, oh, poor Gina. Intelligence A plus is required to learn more about this brain. Huh, we need to get our intelligence up. Um, right now my intelligence is at five. So I guess we're gonna do this thing again where we s suppress our um, mutations so that I don't have this chem effects minus 13 percent disadvantage and then uh, I have to take some gosh I hope I have enough oh boy there was something that I was taking I think it was daddy-o that I was taking for the three intelligence boost bummer man well I have a bunch of level ups um I'm going to guess that all of these are going to require Intelligence 8+. plus. Yeah. So, what I could do is I could just go ahead and uh, level up and just move some points around. Um, I mean, I really don't need more points in Intelligence, game-wise or, well. But, um, I mean, you know... For the, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm leveling up like crazy. Yeah, I can move stuff around. It's no big deal. False alarm! Stand down, people! Oh, goody. Uh, not a false alarm at all, buddy. It's your worst nightmare. It's your worst nightmare. Oh, don't. <laughs> I got him. A critical strike. That's kind of fun. Anyway, um, so, yeah, I mean, I could just move some points around. Uh, maybe take these two out of endurance. I'm not really using these. That'll get me up to seven, and then I could take a point out of... Um, I mean, I really like this. If I took a point out of Charisma, then I wouldn't be able to use this card at all, unfortunately. So where would I take one point? I think I'd have to take a point out of Agility. Um, I'm Just because this is the only single point... Um, card I've got, or I could take three points out of, um, I mean, out of strength, maybe I'd take three points out of strength and, um, get rid of one of these. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what the, the, the effect would be. Right now I'm at 233, right? If I go in here and I got rid of pack rat, my weight is now 238, big deal, right? So, um, If I kept Pack Rat and instead got rid of Traveling Pharmacy, that brings my weight up to 431. 
Okay, traveling pharmacy is hugely important for me. It's not not a surprise. Okay, and then the other option is just simply to get rid of strong back. That's just plus 30 to carry weight. I think that getting rid of uh, pack rat is the way to go. So I'm actually going to move three points from strength into intelligence just so that I could do these quests. Because otherwise, well, before before I do that, is that, do I have anything else that helps with intelligence? Brain bombs. Okay, well then never mind. We're going to be... F oh, no, no, no. That's not intelligence plus three. That's intelligence for... Um, three time periods. So not that. Uh, Brain fungus soup will give me two intelligence. Okay, if I could get one more intelligence, we might be okay. Let's see. Uh, oh, that hurts intelligence. So we are going to look through here very slowly. Very slowly. Okay, Mentats. Okay. All right, here we go. I'm going to take Radax to suppress my um, mutations. I'm going to take Mentats. And then I'm going to take... Um, crap, what was the other thing? I already forgot. It wasn't brain, but I'll bring fungus soup. Okay, so now I should be more than fine in the intelligence department. Okay, so let's take a look at these brains. Uh, Gina's brain. Intelligence 8 plus is required to learn more about this brain. Examine the brain thoroughly. If it's possible for a brain to radiate sadness, this one does. The folding of the cerebral cortex is quite complex, however. Well, if I was smarter, I would know what that means. Does that mean she's really smart? I don't know. Let's go take a look at Greg over here. Where the heck did I get the name Lisa from? What the hell? Greg's brain. Examine the brain thoroughly. This is a truly re un oh, unremarkable brain in the best possible sense. Assuming the extraction process didn't traumatize him, Greg Goldstein, or Stein, I don't know, should be a perfectly normal mind to talk to. Okay. Now let's go look at Dr. Diaz, or Diaz, or however you say this. Is it you making all that noise, dude? There's an unusual patterning on the frontal lobe. The discoloration around the area of the pineal gland also gives you pause. Dr. Diaz might have an unstable personality. Well, we won't be picking him. So, um, I was going to take Gina anyway. So let's just go ahead and take her. Just for fun. Okay, we've taken Gina's brain. Okay, we've got Gina's brain. And uh, now we need to prep the brain. The Robco Research Center team, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I... Uh, Robco research team working on the experimental turrets used in Vault 79 got their brains put in storage before the war. I found one and need to prepare it for the partly assembled robo brain we found. Uh huh. Prepare to die. Prepare to meet your maker. Reload. Where are you, Big Mouth? Where is Big Mouth? Sergeant Gutsy, whatever his name is. Oh, I, I don't have my mutations anymore. <laughs> All right, we got to be moving here. Get over here to Robo Brain Assembly. This is actually a pretty cool quest here. This is kind of a fun is that one. A stove top? It looks like a stove top. You sure we're not sous chefs in some kind of weird zombie cooking show pilot? Normally, I'm all about randomly fiddling the dials, but considering this brain is a limited resource, we better find some instructions first. Okay, find some instructions. Um, huh. Betsy Spinelli's holotape and quickly scrawled notes. Oh, and Protectron Guardian. So I'm going to look in my uh, holo here to see if I have this Betsy thing already. I do. We've already listened to Betsy Spinelli's holotape. We don't need to listen to it again. And then, uh, I wonder if I also already have this quickly scrawled note from my previous playthrough. So we're going to scroll through here, because I keep everything. And we'll see if the quickly scrawled note is in here. 
passed it right up. Uh, no. Okay, so that's new. The quickly scrawled note is new. Let's read it. They were smart enough to write the settings down, at least. Shouldn't be too hard to figure out which number goes where. Okay, dude. Since you always burn the popcorn, this should be set to just three. I don't want to smell a burned brain again. Okay, something should be set to just three. I'm actually going to leave that note right there for now. I don't want to put it in my inventory and then have to, like, go hunting for it again. I don't know. Um, because so I'm thinking maybe there might be other notes in here that's going to help us out. Um, let's see here. I should look for clues on how to prepare a brain so that I could make a robo-brain to create the tools I need to disable Vault 79's experimental turrets. Okay. So I'm looking for clues on how to prepare the brain. Uh, here is another quickly scrawled note. Look, for the last time, set the brains to 441 and no higher. You don't want to burst them. Okay. We got one there. And, um... Oh, okay, it's keeping track of the hints for me. That's nice. There is a stovetop here. Here is another quickly scrawled note. Set it to seven. Just neutral like pure water. The brain is happy. Okay. Okay, so we've got the temperature to 41, the pH to 7, and the timer to 3. Um, brain jar placements. Okay. Well, I guess we're good with the hints. Engineer terminal. Pretty sure I've already read all of those from before. Doesn't look like there's anything in there related to this quest anyway. Okay, so, uh, pH value, set it to 7. Brain temperature, 41. Timer, 3. Brain jar placements, Gina. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Okay, uh, let's see, do I have new text here? Uh, I found several clues on how to prepare a brain, so I should try to prepare it now. Let's do it. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> We're cooking a brain. Okay, prepped Gina brain added. All right, look at you, the chef supreme of brains. That's me. Chef brain ID. Chef brain That's all I got. Okay, now we need to find a robo brain dome in the facilities wing. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Assaultron Dominator, that's not good news for us. Don't know where she went. Getting crazy up in here. Oh, she's she's gonna Oh boy. Negative contact. Hostile utilizing stealth tactics. Yep. That's what I'm going. Oh, dude. okay. Well, you get what you you, get what you deserve, dude. You go running out there right in front of her. That's what happens. Where'd she go? I see. I'm not the only one using stealth tactics. Uh huh. You be dead. Anybody else walking around out here? Hmm? Crap. Need to find a robo brain dome in the facilities wing. Uh, facilities wing. Do I know where the facilities wing is? This isn't going to help me at all looking at the map. So we've got to look around a little bit. Assigned for facilities. Allie. Okay. Is 
so I'm going to guess that this whole wing is, well, whatever the wing is that we're in. Facilities. Um, yeah, I wish this thing gave me a little bit more of a direction to go in. Robo brain assembly. Research labs. Oh, gosh. Oh, nope. Well, it does look like it's pointing me in that direction. Okay, can't get that way from here. So it looks like this is the floor we need to be on, I guess. Or at least the area we need to be in. Oh, wait a minute. What was that over there? What did I see? What did I just see? Um, <laughs> this way. This. No. This. This is what I saw. Okay. I don't know. It probably all goes to the same place. Facilities. I think there'd be a big sign. You think when we wake this research person, they'll be... Well, what I mean to say is... I mean, if I woke up and my mind was in a fishbowl and my beautiful body was suddenly a trash can on treads, I might freak out a little bit. Okay. Uh, well, I got really, really lucky and found the right place to go. Super lucky, man. That was total luck. Robo Brain Devastator. He looks pretty neat. We've got Robo Brain Head Dome. Got it. Okay. Now add a brain to the Robo Brain. I have pre I have a prepared brain and a head dome. So now Sergeant Radcliffe and I can get that partly assembled Robo Brain up and running. Okay, good. It's telling me exactly where to go. That's always nice. Add a brain to the robo brain. Here we go. One brain coming up. The robo brain is incomplete. The head dome and brains are missing. Add Gina's brain. Talk to the robo brain. Sergeant Radcliffe and I assembled a robo brain at Robco Research Center using the brain of someone who worked on Vault 79's experimental turrets but I need to convince it to help us. <laughs> okay, here we go. No! You can't bring me back. <laughs> I got away. Why are you doing this? Oh, this is great. Oh, okay, charisma and intelligence. Sorry I need your help. This will only take a moment, I promise. Stop crying. I need you to do something. Then you can kill yourself for all I care. If I had more charisma, I could say I promise that they can't hurt you anymore, but you can still hurt them. You can help me. Or if I had 12 intelligence, I could say one second, let me adjust your dopamine and serotonin settings. There we go. Ah, crap, man. Well, I don't think there's any way I'm going to get my intelligence up to 12. To get my charisma up to 8, I'm probably going to need some more Mothman eggs and therefore um, Mothman... Uh, or uh, uh, Yeah, I'm going to need more Mothman egg omelets and therefore more Mothman eggs. Crap, man. Ay oh, yeah, yeah. Well, what do we do here? Um, I mean, I could do the thing I was talking about doing before. Boost my intelligence up to 8, but then I need plus 4 to get it up to 12. Man. I mean, holy mackerel. My charisma is at 4. We need it at 8 in order to... Um, help her get her to help us I feel like I'm gonna need those things 
Um, shoot, man. That's a, that's a long way to go. That is a long way to go. I mean, my charisma... I mean, I do have a couple charisma boots, boosts right now. My charisma is at six. Because uh, I'm getting a boot, boosts from some um, apparel I'm wearing. So to get it up to eight isn't too hard. I mean, heck, I might even have something in my... Let's see here. Got... Let's see what we've got here. Here we go. Day trip. I have one day tripper that I could take. And then other stuff that gives me charisma. Um, let's look through here and see if I've got anything else. Charisma of one from the from the beer. And uh, charisma of one from that other beer. So I could suppress my chems again. I mean my mutations again. And um, man, I just have that one. It's, uh, it's just makes me nervous. It's like a one-time shot, man. One-time shot with the day tripper. Okay. So here we go. Suppress. Although I don't really. I might not need to suppress, but let's not risk it. Let's go ahead and suppress them. We'll take the day tripper. Now at least I have enough charisma to talk to her. I promise that they can't hurt you anymore, but you could still hurt them. You can help me. I hate this place. What can I possibly help you with? I'm just a useless intern. Oh gosh, she's an intern. <laughs> I need your help to find a way to bypass the experimental turrets. You're going to find a way to bypass the experimental turrets or I'm going to disassemble you. Well, that's dumb. That's what she wants. Uh, I need your help. Ah, uh, hmm. You mean the turrets Dr. Diaz made? No. Oh. I filed a bug report for something ages ago that she never got around to fixing. I can fabricate some tools that will bring them down <laughs> so fast they won't know what hit them. Okay. Cool. Wow. My robot body doesn't seem to experience pain. That's different. I can't feel anything, actually. Wait for the robo brain to build the tools while you fight off wave after wave of enemies. Yep, here they come. I called it. Oh, 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 you've taken way too many hits. Oh, gosh. Why are you taking so many hits? Yeah, I need your help here, Diaz. Or, Diaz, Radcliffe. Need your help. Come on, Gina. Um... Sergeant Radcliffe and I assembled a robo-brain at Rob Robco Research Center using the brain of someone who worked okay. on Vault 79 Experiment of Church so and I was making it to a blah, blah, blah. command communication signals to just shut it down. No need to overcomplicate things, right? Good. Easy is good. We like easy. I've used my crit. Are you even hitting them, Radcliffe? I think the answer is no. I'm taking all your scrap, man. We can't just leave this stuff laying here. I mean, really, this is good stuff. Did I, I get it? That's it? If you don't need anything else, I'm gonna just sit here for a moment and contemplate my new existence. Uh, all right. Feel better, maybe. Or just keep staring into the meaningless maw of existence. Gina? Oh, she's doing it. She's all in. Let's get out of here. Bye, Gina. Thanks, Gina. You were very helpful. Do I have the tools now? Did you, I'll pick up the tools. Hey, Gina, wait. Gina! Hmm. I have to come back to that later. <laughs> okay, here's the tools. <laughs> in a tool bag. <laughs> okay, she made the tools. I think we picked the right brain. Clever Robco oh, tools. Let's rendezvous back at the home base. This place is giving me the creeps. 
All right, cool. Not so shabby, huh? That wasn't too bad, really. Um, yeah, it still says now is making the tools, so they need to update that. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff in here. Cracks me up that these turrets did not bother to attack me, but I'm glad they did not. Metal pile. Where's Gina? Where'd Gina go? Gina. Oh, we can't even talk to her. Oh gosh, that makes me sad. We can't even talk to her and thank her and say goodbye and good luck. We can't even offer to disassemble her and end her miserable existence. Nothing. She's just gonna sit here forever in this robo-brain in this miserable place. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> oh, good grief. Alright, return to Captain Fields. Get the heck out of here. That wasn't too bad. That was kind of, that was kind of a fun one. I kind of liked that. See, that was clever. That beats the heck out of the, this whole, you know... Um... The, the fetch quests that we did for for Sophia. Yeah, that was that was clever and kind of fun. I liked that one. All right, return to Captain Fields. What am I gonna do here? Let's see. Where are we on the map? I think this is maybe walkable. I think. I'm not sure. Let's. We'll see when we get out of here. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, Captain Fields is in that direction. If you look at the map, we'll see. Absolutely walkable. Let's walk it. Did this text get updated yet? No. <laughs> According to this, the Robo Brain is still making the tools. Oh, who's the shooting? Whoa. Somebody means business. I ain't worried about it. Let's go. You better be with me, Radcliffe. Was he even with me? Who cares? <laughs> That's his problem. Hey. Interesting. I don't know what's following me, but I don't see it. When we exited the Robco facility, I did not notice whether uh, Radcliffe was with us or not. We are going to walk by... Where am I? Blake's offering. Um, okay, let's, um, let's go to Blake's offering and help ourselves to some Mothman eggs just to have them in our inventory in case we need that charisma boost again. I mean, they don't last forever, obviously, but... They last for a while. And these cultists are really never that difficult to take out. Anybody here? Gotta be somebody here. Oh, somebody's a shooting. Footsteps. The this, is a worthy this is a worthy death. death. Okay, where are the eggs going to be? Um, don't remember where the eggs are. I don't see any. Eggs. Fusion core. I heard a sound up here. Did I hear the Mothman himself? Is that what I heard? He makes a pretty distinctive sound. Kind of like a shaking, like a maracas sound. I thought I heard that. Why am I seeing no eggs here? 
Aren't there always eggs at these places? Well, crap, man. I don't see any here. It's kind of a bummer, man. Worst cultist camp ever. Zero stars. I thought this was, um, eggs. It's not. Huh. I'll be doggone. I just assumed that you always found Mothman eggs at a camp. Alright, well, um, onward we march then. This camp's kind of spread out compared to other camps. I want to, it's a lot to explore here. But no eggs. And I'm sad about that. Frowny face. So much for that. Do you hear that? Heard it again, man. What is that sound I'm hearing? Is there a mothman around here? Well, my chems are wearing off. Oh, man. Well, whatever. Let's uh, be on our way. No eggs here. Well, yeah, there's other places we could get eggs. A couple of scorchies down there, pretty high level. We'll just leave them be. No sense in going out of our way to take them out. Here, on the other side of the water, and then we'll get to that bunker where Captain Fields is. Simple as that, man. Piece of cake. Well, I hope that Radcliffe is back here. Otherwise, I lost him in the line of duty. Is that you, Radcliffe? Good, he's here. Hey, Lucky. That's oh, not okay, okay, buddy. Oh, wait. That's just flooding. Nothing new to Sorry, say. Lucky. All right, Captain Fields. Sergeant Radcliffe reports that you procured the tools we need. I'm impressed. I'm pretty impressive. Um, we made a good team. Interesting choice of words. You've been making a good team for some time now, haven't you? Page, Dr. Hornwright, that hyperactive communist kid, and now us. You sure picked a strange team, but you've shown that you can follow through. I'm convinced you'll actually pull this damn thing off. We'll be packing up and heading over to Foundation. No sense coordinating from two places. Eager to get this done, so let us know when. Okay. That was easy. Has anyone seen my readers? 
Oh, hang on, never mind. They're in my pocket. Come on, just make the best of it, people. Okay, well, now... <laughs> this still hasn't been updated. <laughs> now we talk to Paige. So let's get the heck out of here. Okay. Um, so Paige is obviously at um, Foundation, which is down here. We will travel there in the next episode as it is time for me to end this one. So um, obviously we're not doing any reputation boosting quests in this episode. Uh, any of those daily quests, but that's okay. We don't have to do that every time. I just wanted to make sure that I had enough time to uh, get through uh, Robco with uh, Radcliffe and we did it. So, awesome. We'll talk to Paige in the next episode. Thanks for joining me on this episode. I sure hope you join me again in the next one.